And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Scouts. This is going to be our first Jarvan deck, and I don't think we've even played against any Jarvan decks yet. So poor Jarvan, we're going to have to fix that. So we're going to be playing a Scout deck. We got Bilgewater, we got Demacia. We're going to be having some Scouts. Um, and, uh, and we're going to have Jarvan at the top end. So Jarvan's the new six mana champion. Whenever you attack, you can just pay my cost to summon me challenging the strongest enemy. So that means you have to pay the six mana. It has to be in your hand, but if you have it in your hand and you just attack with other stuff, just spend six mana. Jarvan's already out attacking, challenging the largest enemy. And it should work really well with um, scouts. And we're going to kind of see how like this could work well, because you can attack with scouts and then also pay the six and you get Jarvan in attacking. And so Jarvan can even act as a scout that turn. And Jarvan's champion spell Cataclysm works incredibly well with scouts. Also, we're playing an extra copy of Cataclysm where it has an ally starts a free attack challenging an enemy. And so it's basically like this is single combat. But if it's if it's like a turn, you don't have the attack token and you do this with a scout, then you can um, get an additional attack afterwards um, with it being the the scout now as far as like what to play with the rally cards we wanted like three rallies but I, we're just going to kind of play one of each so we're going to play cata one cataclysm one relentless pursuit one golden aegis because i want to try this you know people in in chat said that they thought relentless pursuit was better than this card um that the one mana for the barrier wasn't worth it but i want to give it a try i could see i could see like that barrier being really nice of like putting that barrier on a um on a scout rallying you know like on their turn and, and getting like the two attacks because you have the scout with the barrier i don't know i just want to try it so we're gonna we're gonna try one um but that four mana i could i could see that being a little bit of a hindrance um we got a lot of scouts in here we got grizzled ranger island navigator um of course valor from blinding assault should be pretty fun to play so let's go ahead and give it a try we got misfortune we got jarvan we got king jarvan the third we got one copy in here to tutor up our jarvan um, the fourth. Here we go. Let's go play some scouts. Hmm. Azir with Lucian. So I'm guessing with Azir with Lucian is that they're going to want to be taking multiple attack steps for their Azir to make multiple... Um, whatever they're called. Sand Soldiers. Ooh, the Grand Plaza. It's a good card. And we have the attack token, turn four. And we got a Misfortune. So basically I was thinking that Blinding Assault would be really good against... Meh. It'd be really good against... Uh, Lucian. Do not see what is. See what will be. I assume they attack. Wait, I gotta play Grand Plaza this turn. Okay, how's this gonna work? Glorious sacrifice. <sighs> Island Navigator or Blinding Assault? I mean, I wanna play Blinding Assault. I think we're just gonna do that. All right, because I, I think I wanna play the Misfortune, right? Like, I, So let's play this, the Valor that gets the Vulnerable. More valors. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Not that good. All right, so this Valor that has the Vulnerable is going to die, but it's going to get a lot of damage on the Azir. Love ya. Arise. The main question is... I think I just do this. I could... Hmm. Do I want to... Do I want to risk the... Misfortune dying? by just challenging with Misfortune. They can have like the one mana give plus three, plus one card. That's what I'm kind of worried about. 
That's that's the thing that I'm really worried about. That yeah, that plus three plus one card. So maybe we don't even risk misfortune. Shaped Stone. That card. I don't know if they would have Shaped Stone in their deck. I don't know. But I was scared of it. Because right now, so we'll be able to play the Great Horn Companion this turn. Um, I guess Island Navigator instead. Never mind. And then we can we can attack next turn with Jarvan. Don't get in my way. Protect and strike. So I take this, we just take five. I think that's fine. Again, I, I really don't want them, again, if they have the plus three, plus one. I want to keep this Island Navigator alive so I can attack with it. Have Jarvan attack. Jarvan will challenge the Lucian. Always forward. So I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see if I can figure out how to do this. So we attack. Oh, and it just automatically does it. Like, you don't even have a choice. Whoa. It's not a, like a, hey, do you want to do you want to spend six mana? No, it's just, hey, you're spending your six mana. Deal with it. So they had Sharp Sight. So Sharp Sight, you know, they had the two mana for Sharp Sight. So that's what would have been. Um, man, that's all right. So I guess I guess we have to kill Jarvan because otherwise, otherwise, Cythria blocks here and kills Misfortune. And I guess I would rather have Jarvan die. Yeah, poor Jarvin. Okay, that'll do. That was still pretty cool. I mean, our six-man champion did kill Lucian and Cythria, right? Like, so, still did quite a bit. Still did quite good. All right, Kindred Azir. Well, I'm going to keep the Relentless... Or, sorry, I'm keeping the Grand Plaza. Uh, I guess we're sending it, the rest of it back. Okay. <laughs> Kamikaze Jarvin. Yeah, Jarvin just jumps in the middle of the fight. I think I lead with Misfortune. I'm worried about all the vulnerable stuff they got going on over here. This does show like why relentless like relentless pursuit would look a lot better than this Aegis of like next turn play Island Navigator plus Relentless Pursuit attack twice. Um Yeah, like that would be really nice. Come, come this way. Mm, I don't think I'm playing confront.
That doesn't sound like a card that's in my deck. What's up, Jarvan? How you doing? <laughs> Yeti Yearling. It's always the card. Okay, yeah, confront. Oh, yeah, that Sh Shivana's Champion spell. No, I am not playing that card. This makes sense to challenge over there. Sure. Can we kill them this turn? That thing's a 6 6 now. Unless they have like a one man deal one or something. That'll do. That will do. Good job, Jarvin. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. Ability. Oh no, Draven Jinx. Okay, this is this is definite fun police right here. This is oh yeah, you're trying your cool little Sharima deck, so I'm just gonna play the best aggro deck that we've been playing and tuning for an entire you know, like these champions have been out for over a year. We've just been tuning that. All right, Grand Plaza, do I have time for you? Yeah. Yeah, I kept Pursuit. I thought that this this matchup was going to be one where I um, like I, I don't want to play like a longer grindy game against them. I want to just kind of play like a super fast combo game and and you know with having Grand Plaza I thought that like one turn of like Grand Plaza Challenger Scouts with Misfortune could be awesome. Speaking of awesome, that Rangers Resolve looking pretty awesome. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Rangers Resolve is looking pretty awesome. Watch and learn. So we take three, four, five, six, seven. If they do have vision by not blocking. I'm not allowing them to play vision. Oh, what a card. Oh, what a card. But that means I don't... That does mean I don't get R Ranger's Resolve. Looking for trouble. It's I may need Ranger's Resolve, though. We'll have to see. Like, if they just go get excited on Misfortune. Mm, man, this is so tough. Which one to do? I guess I wait till next turn to do this Blinding Assault. I think I think I should keep Rangers Resolve in case of in case of get excited misfortune. If they would have you know like if they would have spent four mana on whatever, if they would have played something, then you know we would have played the blinding assault. Now we're cooking. What? So they did have vision. I guess they they're just going to be emptying their hand but still I mean they All right. So 
I can't really kill Jinx. This doesn't look that great for me. I really wish I would have played Valor last turn. And, you know, like, before attacking, this... Playing Valor last turn would have definitely made my life a whole lot better. If I would have done that last turn. But as is, this looks pretty bad. Do I have to kill Battlecaster? Okay, so if I just do this challenge, then I guess uh, Misfortune blocks the 2-2. Two -two, or the Jinx. Jinx blocks the 2-2. Two -two. If I just do this one, then they attack. Yeah, I just do this. Hey, thank you so much there, Pocket. Thank you so much, and thanks for the continued support. I appreciate that. Go down to six. Alright, jump on in there, Jarvin. I'm not gonna kill them, but I'm killing Jinx. Jarvin! Yuck! I'm still able to get a super mega death rocket. It's bad news. I definitely would have won this game for sure if I would have played the Blinding Assault the same turn I played the Misfortune. We would have won this game very easily. Um, I, you know, I played around, get excited, but you know they didn't have get excited, and with what their hand was, I would have won this game really easily. As is, it looks like looks like this is a loss if they just attack. Yeah, and they, they pass with their four mana because of Jinx, which was my worst case scenario. So that's too bad. That's too bad. That was a close game that I had a decision that I could have easily easily done to win that, right? Like should have played the should not have protected Misfortune. All right, let's under trundle. Um, we need threats in this kind of matchup. The new expansion is amazing, Agent Iowa. I really, really enjoy this expansion. Okay, I'm just going to keep the two mana for sharp side available instead of playing the protector here. We found our sharp sights, though. We found them. I hope my opponent cannot beat the card sharp sight. Because <laughs> I got a lot of those.
And I'll just pass again. Keep my sharp sight mana available. So maybe we draw a four or five mana scout that we're going to want to play next turn. But very good blockers for them. Alright, so that's attack number two for Misfortune. Lissandra Trundle worked pretty well. We played super close games and uh, were able to, you know, pull out a lot of victories, but they weren't easy. They were really close, but um, yeah, it worked. It worked quite well. Okay, so I think I'll go Bright Seal. Okay, so I'm going to be playing the Repost to kill Trundle. So do I... Do I play the Bright Steel Protector also is like the real question, or do I just keep Sharp Sight available too, right? So like we're gonna repost the Valor Challenge Trundle. Troll chance, a th troll chance a thing. Okay, so I've kept Sharp Sight available, with Troll Champion a thing. Yeah, so next, next, uh. Deck we're going to play is going to be our first Talia deck. We're going to play Zoe Talia. Jarvan. King of trolls coming through. Cool, Zeno. This is kind of a difficult turn here, right? Like, not having the attack token on turn six. Like, what, do I just hard cast Jarvan? But then if I do that, then I don't really get, like, the whole bonuses that it brings. Um... But then if I don't hardcast Jarvan, I'm, like, not playing anything this turn. So I guess I just kind of completely pass. Okay, that Relentless Pursuit's pretty good. Go get him, Jarvan. All eyes on me. So like, keeping the King Jarvan for, like, post-ruination type stuff. Vengeance. This this Valor has done so much work. This little Valor. This Valor is killed to... I mean, I guess I just do this. Yeah. I don't think they're staying alive. If they haven't done anything. <clears throat> there we go. That Valor killed two Trundles. That one little Valor. Good job, Jarvan. Uh, another... Um, fun police deck. Just like our the discard burn that I should have won against. I think I'm gonna send it all back. I could I could see keeping the island navigator, but we have other four drops that are good and stuff. Let's just send it all back. Play Bright Steel Protector. Mm. Mm. No. Yeah, I, I feel like saving save, saving spell mana is just kind of the thing to do. This will allow me to play the Grand Plaza and have Sharp Sight available this next turn. Where's Misfortune? <laughs> I think we we had turn three Misfortune like the other four games, right? Where are you at, Misfortune? It makes our deck a lot better. I don't know. I don't think I even use Sharp Sight to block the Fizz, though. 
Okay, we're gonna get her. Okay, so we're gonna have misfortune next turn. Yeah, I don't know if I even use sharp sight here. Maybe, I, maybe I block the ballistic bot and sharp sight that. That was an odd play by them. No, no attacks. They know about my sharp sight. I mean, sharp sight's the most common Demacia spell, right? Every single Demacia deck plays three sharp sights, so it's not like it's not like they're just like stream sniping necessarily. I mean, it could be for how long they take on every decision, maybe, but that doesn't mean that they are because it is the most it's the most obvious spell. I'll just play a larger Fleet Feather Tracker. I've got your back. Let's get to it. Um. Okay, cool. Got Ballistic Bot and Fizz out of here. Um, so we have three cards in hand, three cards in play. Six total cards. They have five total cards. So up a card. That's good. Oh. I need to play the Silent Navigator next turn, but then that's the mana for Jarvan next turn also. Mm. I guess I just don't... I guess we just don't have challengers with the scout with these two. Okay, so if I if I sharp sight here, then next turn my Jarvan will just be like six power just attacking and dealing damage to them, right? Like Jarvan still comes into play even if they don't doesn't have anything to challenge, right? I assume it does. Right? Because like I just want to do I would rather do six damage to them than challenge something. Alright. Unfortunately opponent concedes, we don't get to do our cool Jarvan stuff, because that Jar like that Jarvan is gonna kill them real fast. So there we go. There's our Jarvan Scouts deck. It definitely looked really strong. We had Misfortune on turn three quite a bit, but we saw even like that last game, we didn't have uh, Misfortune on turn three and still did it just fine. Jarvan was really cool. I really liked Jarvan in here, being able to um, attack with a scout, pay your six mana. And so, yeah, we found out that it's just a must. You got to pay, uh, you know, it's not like a you may pay. It's just you definitely you just pay your six mana. Jarvan comes in attacking. Um, and then uh, you get your normal attack after that, and you get to attack again with Jarvan. It did kind of feel like I wanted more attack steps, right? Like, I kind of wanted more Relentless Pursuit <laughs> kind of cards. Golden Aegis was okay. Uh, I don't know if it was, like, better than Relentless Pursuit. I uh, wanted to try it out. It was, there was, it was actually probably a little worse than Relentless Pursuit because you do save your three spell mana, and then, you know, you play... You spend your three on, like, Misfortune or Grand Plaza, spend your four on, you know, Grizzled Ranger or Island Navigator. And once you spend your four on, like, the Island Navigator, you know, you want, like, your three spell mana. You want to be able to Relentless Pursuit. So you, I'd probably say that Relentless Pursuit being the three mana is probably more important than the Barrier. But I wanted to try them both out. But I kind of wanted another one of those cards. They were, you know, the Barrier card, like, those uh, extra attack cards were definitely really good. Um, so like maybe over like a repost, maybe let's see, or, or a ranger's resolve. So we went four and one could have definitely been a five though. If I would have just cast the blinding assault the same turn, you know, like the, as you know, if you watch the game against the discard burn, I had an option of either casting blinding assault or keeping ranger's resolve to protect misfortune. I did this keep ranger's resolve, protect misfortune. If I cast the blinding assault, we definitely win that game. And so I, I should have done that, but I, I thought that maybe they had to get excited to kill my misfortune. They did not end up having a get excited. They ended up having a jinx emptying their hand and uh, going crazy with jinx where if we blinding assault, we get to kill more things, and that game is uh, in hand for us, for sure. And we would have gotten an additional attack for leveling up the Misfortune, because I didn't have any other scouts. Uh, let's see, Jarvan, King Jarvan, pretty cool card. Never really got to play it, but it's a cool card. I like it. 
Um, so yeah, so the, really the thing to figure out here is like what, you know, which one of these you want to play and so on. And so like I said, I think I'd move on. I think I'd move to a second Relentless Pursuit instead of that Golden Aegis. Um, probably keep the Cataclysm and figure out if, is there a way to even get a third Relentless Pursuit to go along with the Cataclysm in here? Maybe over Repost or Ranger's Resolve. But that's all I got here for Jarvan Scouts. Or I guess you could technically take out the third Grand Plaza if you want. If you want to play a Relentless Pursuit instead of the third Grand Plaza. The Grand Plaza is always pretty cool. Um, I think I like having one Cataclysm in here. I, I like that kind of being a removal spell. But I, we never we never drew Cataclysm, right? So I never really got to try it out. But maybe Relentless Pursuit would have just been better than Cataclysm. I'm not sure. But anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what kind of decks are you playing with Jarvan. Um, this one looked strong. Just, you know, putting Jarvan in scouts looked good to me. Um, but yeah, what else you got for Jarvan? What else are you uh, really enjoying with this new expansion? Anything like that? Love to hear it. All right, but that's all I got here for some Jarvan scouts. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.